there are three different types of sprains. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. When someone says that you've sprained your finger, sprained your shoulder, sprained your back, sprained your neck, that is a very general term. There are actually three different types of sprains, and I'm gonna tell you what they are. The first is a grade one, the second is grade two, and you guessed it, the third is grade three. So I'm gonna to explain to you what these different grades are because they really are important to know because certain sprains will heal faster than others. And so from a prognosis perspective, it's not really good enough to tell a person you have a sprained back. It's important to tell them what kind of sprain so they have a better understanding of how long it's gonna to take to get better. So some general anatomy, if you take a bone and a bone and put them together, they form a joint. Now three-dimensionally, what happens is ligaments hold these bones together and it's formed as a joint capsule. So think of ligaments as like a tight rubber band. So when I move my joints, what happens is it naturally comes back in the bones, my two fists, the bones will actually come back into normal alignment. So if I bend my body this way, the natural elasticity of the ligament or rubber band will pull it back to a neutral position. Now if a grade one sprain is when you actually, let's say you fall down and you put your wrist out and you push the bones farther than they normally would be able to move on their own. So you overstretch the ligament farther than it wants to go and what happens is there's a, a little bit of irritation to the ligament and the joint capsule and so there's a little bit of swelling and there's pain the nerves sense pain and so that would be a grade one sprain in general for the average young individual a grade one sprain takes a week or two to get better generally requires no treatment other than just putting some ice on it for pain relief and to reduce the swelling. Occasionally, the joint will stop moving well, so one or two adjustments and the person's great to go. This is where we look as chiropractors, as miracle workers, because a person will have a grade one sprain and you'll do one or two adjustments, you'll have them put ice on, man, they're 100%, they're also young. A grade two sprain, which is a more severe sprain, is where when the ligament or the rubber band gets stretched and there's, there becomes little tears inside the ligament. This of course now has created tissue damage to the actual structure of the ligament and now it's gonna take longer to heal. In this particular case, usually this will take, in general, six to eight weeks to heal. Because the ligament is damaged, now it requires more therapy. This is a case where we might use laser therapy, we may use deep tissue type of work such as a deep myofascial active um, release type of method uh, on the ligament itself and the joint capsule. What will end up happening also is the two bones will no longer move well together, so that would require some adjusting, more than one or two adjustments during that six to eight week period. Generally speaking, a grade two sprain, if you treat it properly, will result in full resolution of the joint function and you just won't have any future problems. Most people will not get proper care and thus later on, even a, up to a year later, 10 years later, will still have a little instability and a little discomfort because the ligament really never healed uh, fully. A grade three sprain would be where the joint has been stretched so far that the, the ligament or the rubber band, you can imagine, it totally snaps. In other words, it's not there anymore. It ripped apart. This is a case where really, in, depending on the joint, the person will need surgery. Think of an ACL tear or a MCL tear in a football player or uh, the medial collateral ligament of the elbow, Tommy John. These are cases where the ligament actually ripped apart. There is nothing that a chiropractor can do in terms of restoring that ligament to come together. The prognosis is usually bad 
for the average individual. And the reason why is the average individual usually doesn't get immediate surgical resolution and the average individual doesn't usually follow through with uh, proper protocols for rehabilitation. This is where you hear about sports people, professional sports athlete, tearing their ACL and being back on the field the next year, uh, winning Super Bowls and World Series and stuff, and the average individual has pain for the rest of their life. The reason why is because of the aggressiveness and the speed with which you repair that ligament and the aggressiveness and the intensity of the rehabilitation. Now, other joints other than knees and elbows and things like that, sometimes with the spine, a person can have a complete tear of a ligament in their spine and sometimes with chiropractic you can have some pretty good results, but you'll never get the person 100% because no one can restore that tissue damage. These are cases where there really is no surgery to repair the damaged ligament, but what does happen with uh, all people, uh, regardless of whether they're sports or non-sports related, is when it tears, the body will form scar tissue there, and very often that scar tissue can gristle a little bit to tighten things up. But this requires expert care, um, expert chiropractic care, to know exactly where to adjust, restore joint motion, how to use lasers and deep tissue work to try to get this to gristle faster. Um, but it is a long recovery period, up to a year of recovery and treatment. So hopefully that explains some things why one person can have a sprain and get full resolution in a week or two and other people can sprain uh, the same area and it takes up to a year. The reason why is there's different actual grades of sprains, grade one, grade two, grade three. So if you thought this video was interesting and educational, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions you can ask in the comment section below. And please share this on social media. Put it on your Facebook page, put it in Instagram. And the reason why is it helps spread the word about the realistic effects of sprains. Lastly, I do have a Patreon account. If you want to go to the Patreon account and support this channel, I do greatly appreciate it. The advantage of a Patreon account is that if you have any questions, I can make a video just for you. Thanks for watching.